Okay, so I designed this app and I want to export the prototype as a video. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm going to go to prototype and add uh, interactions in between frames, basically. I already did that, but you would have to do that too if you didn't do it already. Uh, so I basically add an interaction on these button clicks uh, like this. After you're done with that, unfortunately, there's no direct option to do it within Figma, so you would have to just Google Chrome Screen Recorder and just go with probably the first option. I'm just going to use this one. Add the extension, wait a few seconds until it gets installed. Now, just run the prototype and then just go to plugins. Pin this if you want to. Uh, so, you have a few options here. What do you want to capture? Basically, only just screen, uh, no audio, but you can uh, play with the settings. Uh, okay, let's just go back. So, now all you have to do is just start recording, pretty much. I'm just going to take this outside my uh, monitor because it's going to screen cap the actual screen. So, uh, just keep that in mind. So, start recording. I'm just going to choose my frame, this one. And it, then I can basically interact with my prototype. Uh, I explain whatever I want to explain and... Uh, that's pretty much it. Once I'm done, I just click stop uh, and whatever, continue. I don't even, I didn't really read what it said. Uh, now you won't have your face in the uh, in the recording because you probably, you're obviously not presenting yourself, but like, uh, as you can see, it does exactly what it should do. Uh, now let's just close this. Okay, now let's assume you want to change the background or like you want to maybe hide the, the top bar. Like, if you want to hide it, just press F11, and then you should be able to hide the browser search bar. Uh, if you want to change the background of the prototype, uh, just go to prototype, background, make it red, or whatever color you need. Uh, that's how you do it. By default, it's black. Also, you can go device. I'm not actually sure the resolution on this one. Uh, 375 by 8. 112, 375, this one, I think. So, yeah, uh, if you want to add the prototype, I don't know why my background is red now, because it's supposed to be dark. Probably a bug, or I don't know. Yeah, it's, it was probably a bug. So, again, if you want to do the same thing, right, you can add frames, uh, mock-ups for devices, uh, you can change the background, but when it comes to actually recording the prototype and the interactions, like I said, you would have to use a plugin, so let's just do it again. Uh, first, let's just hide the top bar, only screen, none, uh, and just take this out, start recording, choose the screen, share, and now we should be able to just uh, interact with a prototype. Maybe if you have explaining to do, you can explain it, whatever you have, you can use the microphone and stuff like that. Uh, let's just stop it. F11. So, again, you end up with something that looks like this. It works pretty smoothly. Now all you have to do is just right-click, save video as, or like, uh, save. Uh, and you should end up with a video of your prototype. And you don't have, you don't have to share the link with anyone. Uh, they can just watch the video. So anyway, that's how you do it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So...